Alright, Shalom Akim. I'd like to give all the praises and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Ba'asham Rechak Wadash. I'd like to double honest the apostles and the laws of great millstone and rule well. And peace and salutation to the Akim around the world that push the truth in sincerity. And I just want to go through a few precepts all entitled um, The elect is different to the world. Right? Because you'll see the men of the most are actually trying to live according to righteousness. You, you could be able to actually see a difference between them and everybody else. And not just about seeing, but those men had to uh, behave different to everybody else. Whether it be in the sight of everybody else, behind closed doors, you understand they are not the same. It's not just always about an image also. It's always it's also about being. Just like how the scriptures talk about any presence. I'll get a there were Philippians 2, I think it's 11. Yeah, I'm 12, right? Philippians 2 verse 2 have a say, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. You understand? So it's not just about to be seen, but it's also about being righteous, being righteous on the inside. Because you know the um they always talk about the Pharisees when they talk about um, doing things to be seen of men. You understand they wasn't righteous inwardly, but they used to act righteous outwardly for fame and you know to have this image but it wasn't righteous on the inside they say work out your own salvation with fear and trembling you understand now going back to what I was saying I always like to use this scripture um, John 17 verse 16 they say they are not of the world even as I am not of the world you understand he said they are the men that he chose the men, well the men that was given unto him from since the beginning they are different to everybody else you can see it in the behavior in the continence they are different to the world it says sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth and that is actually how you're going to know how to go about being different because it's not just about feeling different but it's also about behaving a certain way about doing certain things you understand City Wisdom of Solomon 2 verse 1 right they say for the ungodly said and reasoning with themselves but not aright because the ungodly don't do things according to the Mosai ordinance right they say our life is short and tedious and in the death of a man there is no re no remedy right neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave now you can see that they lack understanding they don't understand according to the scriptures it's something called regeneration as even in um second as just to talk about um after death um shall a judgment come when we shall live again but these people out here you can see majority are jakes out here i right? don't show you how, how true the bible is majority are jakes out here where's the slogan yolo you only live once so just do things you know just do things and live it up because you only hear once that is how the ungodly leaders think right they say neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave they say for we have born at all adventure and we should be hereafter as though we had never been for the breath of our nostrils is a smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart they say which being extinguished our body shall be returned into ashes and our spirit have vanished as the soft air right I'll jump to I'll jump to verse um, I'll jump to verse 10 right now they, they, you can see through so, through our read so far that they saw the ungodly this thing they just do things pertaining to fun and enjoyment 
and not according to the scriptures now some people just think when you live in according to the scriptures you can't enjoy certain things that is not true the scripture is your guide on how to do things the correct way because you can't find joy in having sex with another man wife you understand that is confusion you're causing like envy and strife you understand but the ungodly don't think like that which is what makes it the, the hopefully lack different to everybody else because they just care about these things they care about righteousness in verse 10 right they say let us oppress the poor righteous man let us not spare the widow nor reverence the ancient grey hairs of the age which is something scriptures say to do they say let us let our strength be in the law of justice it says suck here they say let our strength be the law of justice and there is just so there's a good idea how Esau does think their justice is in the strength they say for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth they say therefore let us lie in wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn and he is clean contrary to our doings so let's show a righteous man is different to everybody else he said let us wait for let us lay in wait for him because he is contrary to us and contrary is like opposite right they say he abraded us with our with our offending the law and objected to our infamy the transgressing of our education right okay the scriptures say the, the wise to do evil but to do good to have none understanding they say he profess it to have the knowledge of power and he call it himself the child of the Lord which is what the men and the Mosiders do even today because all of Israel is the princes of power but the ones who want to follow the wicked ordinances they don't, they don't believe that so there's laugh and ridicule us when we say it they say he was made to reprove our thoughts <laughs> and you know tutors that Jake don't like reproof they don't like nobody telling them that what they're doing is wrong they don't want it he is grievous unto us even to behold and a good example that was when the Messiah would walk and he, was, he used to tell them certain things they used to want to literally they used to, they used to try to stone him try to trim off a cliff all kind of things because he was grievous unto them because his ways were opposite were contrary to their ways right they say for his life is not like uh, like other men's his ways are of another fashion so even the heathens the heathens know even the heathens know that the elect that the Messiah are different you understand they say we are esteemed of him as counterfeits he abstained from our ways as from filthiness because we understand that holy means what separate you understand you're not supposed to be defiling yourself with the wickedness of of everybody else and that's exactly what they're saying here they say we are esteemed of him as counterfeits he abstained from our ways as from filthiness he pronounced the end of the of the just to be blessed and make it his boasts that the Mosai is his father so you see all the scriptures even showing you how the wicked does think towards you so understanding this you either know how to think as a righteous man because you're not like everybody else and even the wicked could see that even if you actually go and dwell among two thirds just by your ways you will, you will be grievous unto them because you was telling them hey you shouldn't do this but you shouldn't do that and they will start to get annoyed just by your presence because they will, they could be able to see that you're different to them your way is different and just your countenance alone just be grievous unto them you understand anyway I hope that was edifying and with that I like to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai Ba'asham Rokah Kodash like to double honest the apostles and the of great mills and rule well and peace and salutation to the Akim around the world 
that push you through in sincerity you know to all the brothers out there trying to remain righteous you know trying to remain in your spirit stay strong there's your abba from your trinidad camp saying shalom